Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about FIFA 20 Ultimate Team today. That is weird to say. I'm going to be honest. It's very weird to say. We're inside of FIFA 19 Ultimate Team right now. But we have some FIFA 20 information that has been coming out in the last couple of days in regards to icons, in regards to upcoming information releases, and even pro clubs. They've even already released some information on pro clubs and today what I want to do is kind of unpack that stuff and take you guys through the timeline that we're gonna see for FIFA 20 information releases here in the next couple of days there's gonna be a lot of FIFA 20 information I mean right now inside of FIFA 19 we are doing team of the season upgrade SBCs we have all this stuff for footies that's going on right now there's a lot of uh, content and SBCs being released here but we also have FIFA 20 stuff that is coming out and that's very, very important for us because we are ready for that next game that is coming out. What better way to start looking back at some of this stuff than to actually go back to last year. One year ago, we had the Foot 19 reveal and I wanna take a look at this and see if you guys remember this at all, this little video that they put out to release and start to promo FIFA 19. It's me, True Boy. I've been at EA Vancouver where FIFA is made. I've been hanging out with the dev team. They've been showing me all the cool new features. FIFA 19 is just around the corner. You know what that means. FIFA Ultimate Team is nearly here. So basically, we had this video last year where they talked about FIFA 19 stuff. They talked about what was going to be happening. And we're basically going to have... Uh, that same thing this year. I'm, of course, I'm not going to play that whole video for you guys because who wants to freaking see that, right? Who wants to see that? But what I do want you guys to see is this tweet that EA tweeted today is very important because this gives us the schedule for the upcoming stuff that is happening inside of the game. I want to go over this first. Today on Tuesday, the Ultimate Edition cover reveal. We've already had the two, uh, I forget what the normal versions are, the Champions Edition and the, and the Standard Edition with Hazard and Van Dyke on those editions, which is dope. Um, and everybody already knows basically who is going to be that person on the Ultimate Edition. It's going to be Zidane. He's going to be another icon that has been being released. At least that is what people are thinking. That's the consensus right now. That is what people think about that. Um, but we're going to see that today. But the biggest thing is this right here, Wednesday, the Foot 20 reveal. And I think that they're going to do this in a live stream format like they did in FIFA 18. Um, I think they did a live stream in FIFA 19 as well. They basically fire up a Twitch stream, they stream it live on YouTube, and they show you the new stuff that's going on in the game. Chew Boy was there for FIFA 19. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's happening this year for FIFA 20, but I'm, it sounds like it's going to be some sort of live stream, live event. Uh, that they're going to be doing um, on Wednesday. So that's July 31st. That's also a big day for FIFA 19 content. So I would say uh, July 31st, Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK, and that whole day is going to be a big time day for FIFA with a lot of stuff coming out in FIFA 20 and also stuff coming out in FIFA 19. Now I want to take a look at some of the stuff that has already come out, and we'll talk about Friday in a second as well. Today they released this picture for Drogba going to be an icon of FIFA 20, which is absolutely insane. Um, this is an icon that a lot of people have wanted for a while, ever since he retired. People are like, we need this Drogba icon, and we're finally getting him, which is freaking dope. Um, and we'll probably get some more information on Wednesday on what they're doing with icons this year, if they're going to switch it up again or keep it the same. Two other icons we've got, Ian Wright an Englishman, and of course, uh, Ronald Coleman as well. Two new icons that people are pretty pumped about. Um, along with Pirlo, um, this is a nice one that uh, I really hope we get some sick stats for this card. I would be very excited to use Pirlo. Um, and then they've also confirmed some ones to watches already. Uh, they had some content creators tweet this out. We've had Hazard released uh, and guaranteed. Thorgan Hazard as well, so we have two Hazards in ones to watch FIFA 20. We have Jao Felix, uh, the transfer to Atletico Madrid, and Jovic. So we have four confirmed ones to watches that will be uh, in the game 
for uh, ones to watch. And that's kind of all the information that we've had so far, along with the cover stars, with the standard edition being Eden Hazard and the Champions Edition being Virgil van Dyke. And then everybody's guesstimate for that Ultimate Edition is definitely Zidane. Uh, they showed like a cutout picture of him. They were like, guess who this is? And there were so many replies underneath the tweet with the picture of Zidane. Like the exact picture that they were using for that cover photo. That was crazy. So I'm very excited to see what happens with that. And then we've already had some information about pro clubs. They have a new customization system, a new broadcast package, new traits, new match types, and uh, some pretty bad tweet formatting here by EA. You see the, uh, the space missed between the check mark? And uh, the wording here, oh yeah, oh yeah, we like to point it all out. But hey, you know what? A lot of people are saying that this Pro Club's uh, improvements isn't anything too big, but it's something, you know? It's something that they changed to Pro Clubs, so that's a GG to that one. I think this part's the coolest. You can celebrate um, at the same time with your teammates. That's kind of cool. You can set up some team celebrations. Um, but I am very excited for what comes out on Wednesday because the FIFA 20 hype, I think hasn't really built up yet, you know? I feel like the FIFA 20 hype just really has not built all the way up yet, and it's almost here. I mean, we still have a lot of stuff that we're doing in FIFA 19. Some people are dead and over the game. Some people are still grinding hard. Some people are still doing packs, doing SBCs and stuff like that, playing weekend league. Um, but the FIFA 20 stuff is really starting to come out in full swing. There was one other thing that I did want to look up um, on Twitter. The Zidane FIFA cover, FIFA 20. I wanted to show you guys some of these pictures about Zinedine and Zidane and FIFA 20. Yeah, right here. This is the pictures that I was seeing on Twitter as well. The Ultimate Edition cover. Like, this is what they tweeted. Like, they tweeted this out. This is a cover reveal coming soon. It's obvious who this player is in this molded graphic. It's so obvious to see who uh, that player is. If we scroll down, maybe we'll see a few. Yeah, right here. Look at this, man. It's so easy to see who this player is in the graphic. So the ultimate edition is definitely going to be Zidane. It is definitely this picture. If it would be somebody else, I think we would all be so incredibly surprised. But it looks like it's going to be Zidane as the ultimate team, the ultimate edition uh, FIFA 20 cover star. Now, again, I'm not a proponent for EA. I do not work for them but I want to share information with you that can be helpful. I'm here to help you guys. So I do want to mention this. Make sure that if you're going to pre-order FIFA Ultimate Team, you do it through the menu right here. Uh, you can get 20% off. You get 10% off from clicking using this link right here, and you get an extra 10% off if you have EA Access, which I would definitely recommend all of you guys getting. Um, yeah, join EA Access and save 10% on the full game and extra content. You can uh, add another 10% on top of that when you order the Ultimate Edition from this link right here. I think the same thing is on PS4. I'm not entirely sure, but there is EA Access on PS4, and that is a new um, a new thing for this year. There, EA actually tweeted about that as well. You see this tweet right here. EA Access is now available on PlayStation 4, um, so that is pretty exciting. I think that just makes the move for me to PS4 a whole lot sweeter and a whole lot better um, than that, with that being there. So again, FIFA 20 information Wednesday is the big day. Wednesday is really the big day. They're also dropping pitch notes as well. Uh, Corey tweeted out that there's gonna be a new pitch notes dropped on that same day. I'm gonna find that tweet for you guys right now if it ever loads. Um, but there is going to be some pitch notes coming out on that same day. I cannot get his Twitter to load for some reason. Dude, Twitter desktop right now? Twitter desktop is all over the place. We're going to go to TweetDeck. Can we load something on TweetDeck? No, we can't. Interesting. Interesting. Twitter is like broken for us right now, boys. Let's find this Corey tweet about the pitch notes. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So they he quote tweeted the EA Sports Drogba tweet today and said, Thoughts can expect pitch notes on a reveal as well. Stay tuned. FIFA 20. Now they've already been releasing some of the things that they have been changing with FIFA 20 in terms of um, some of the gameplay, some of the new modes um, that they are going to be putting into the game as well. 
Maybe I can find this down here. Maybe I can't. It's probably a decent ways now, decent ways down here. Um, but yeah, boom, here it is. The changes are right here. The FIFA 20 pitch notes. I wanted to look at these as well with you guys. Um, these are the uh, those are the pro clubs customization pitch notes. Are there any other ones? Are there any other ones right here? FIFA note pitch notes. FIFA 20. Boom. The FIFA 19 and 20 pitch notes. Here they are. FIFA 20 deep dive. Uh, the gameplay features the 1v1s they've already talked about. The strafe dribbling, which is, again, basically what people saw in FIFA 17. And uh, the jockeying system, basically. The L2, R2 dribble. That's what a lot of people are going to say is um, going to be OP. But, boys, I want to focus on this. A lot of people haven't been talking about this. These new combinations for passes. This is going to be crucial to the game because every year when they add stuff, you saw that when we looked at this video right here, this FIFA 20 reveal video, some of the stuff that has been so very OP throughout the game this year was shown in that trailer. So when you're watching the trailers this year, when you're watching the content that EA is putting out and showing us for the new stuff that is going to be a part of the game, keep your eyes out and be watching for stuff that could be OP. The new features that they put in every year are always OP. So I wanted to say something about that. The new strafe dribbling, probably gonna be OP. That L2, R2 dribble, which is what people call the crab walk from FIFA 17. And then probably some of these passes, a driven lobbed through pass. L1 plus R1 plus triangle. So it's basically like a driven shot right now, a LBR, LB, RB, and B but you're gonna add LB, RB, and Y instead of B. So they're adding some new controls, a lofted ground pass, which is basically right now what I think people use is the RBX. Uh, it's gonna be a double tap of the A button on Xbox. A lofted ground through pass, gonna be a double tap of the Y. Some slow dribbling is gonna be LT, RT, and left stick, which is what we now, which is what we knew as the crab walk in FIFA 17. Setup touch, you can use an you can use R1 or RB and the right stick to flick that. So basically look through all this stuff because this is stuff that not a lot of people have been talking about. I'm sure it's gonna be talked about on Wednesday. Um, and they're gonna talk a lot more about these gameplay mechanic improvements, uh, the strafe dribbling that they show here, the, the crab walk that is gonna be OP, um, all the jockeying and stuff. And this is gonna be really good for you guys to study up on. We're gonna talk a lot more about this as FIFA's 20 news and info keeps coming out. Um, set pieces as well. We're gonna be talking about a lot more of this stuff throughout the rest of this week as we get for more information because it's gonna be a topic that everybody's gonna be talking about. But I wanted to bring this to you guys today to kind of set you up with a timeline and talk about some of my, um, you know, how I think it's gonna go down, what I see through some of this, um, especially with a lot of the gameplay stuff. I'm probably not gonna comment too much on the gameplay stuff just yet. I'm gonna wait and see what they come out with um, on Wednesday with the uh, the EA reveal and everything that they're gonna do then on this Wednesday date, July 31st. So make sure you guys are ready for that uh, because that's gonna be a huge day for FIFA Ultimate Team. I expect that we'll get some more information on that today with a some type of tweet, some type of information coming out from the community managers or from the EA Twitter account itself so be watching for that make sure you have notifications turned on for their tweets and while you're there turn them on for mine as well just so you get to know when i tweet out stuff you're you're in the know just like you are with uh, ea content and promotions and stuff like that uh if you enjoy this video boys and you're hyped for fifa 20 smash the thumbs up button i will try to be as active i can as i can on wednesday uh, probably get another video out talking about some of this fifa 20 reveal stuff i'm very excited for this new game i hope you guys are too um and again um it can only go up from here, right? We can only keep improving. That's the goal with FIFA every single year. If you enjoy the video, boys, smash your thumbs up, as I did say. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and comment down below if you have anything to say about FIFA 20, all right? I'll catch you guys in the next video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Peace out.